have seen a maiden. I am referring to what road pavers call a maiden, a thing used for ramming down the paving stones. She is made entirely of wood, broad at the bottom with iron hoops around it, and a stick run through it at the upper, narrower end, which gives the maiden arms. Two maidens like this were one standing in the yard shed, among shovels, measuring tapes, and wheelbarrows. Now there was a rumor going around that they were no longer to be called maidens, but stamps, or hand rammers. And this is the newest and only correct term in road paper's language for what we all in olden times called a maiden. There are among us human beings, certain individuals we call emancipated women, such as institution superintendents, midwives, ballet dancers, milliners, and nurses. And with this group of emancipated, the two maidens in the yard shed associated themselves. They were known as maidens among the road pavers, and would under no circumstances give up their good old name, and let themselves be called stamps, or hand dreamers. Maiden is a human name, they said, but a stamp or a hand dreamer is a thing, and we certainly do not want to be called the things that's insulting us. My betrothed is liable to break off our engagement, said the younger of the two, who was engaged to a ramming block, a large machine used to drive stakes into the ground. In fact, he did on a larger scale the same sort of work that she did on a smaller. He'll take me as a maiden, but I'm sure he won't have me as a stamp or a hand rammer, and so I'll not permit them to change my name. As for me, I'd just as soon have both my arms broken off, said the elder. But the wheelbarrow had a different idea, and the wheelbarrow was really somebody. He considered himself a quarter of a carriage, because he went about on one wheel. I must, however, tell you that it's common enough to be called maiden. That isn't nearly so distinctive a name as stamp, because that belongs under the category of seals. Just think of the royal signet, and the steel of the state. If I were you, I would give up the name maiden. Never, said the elder, I'm much too old for that. You don't seem to understand what is called the European necessity, said the honest old measuring tape. People have to adapt themselves to circumstances, limit themselves, give in to the needs of the times. And if there is a law that the maidens are to be called stamps or hand rammers, then by that new name she must be called there's a measuring tape for everything. Well, if there must be a change, said the younger, I'd rather be called Miss, for Miss reminds one a little of Maiden. But I'd rather be chopped up for firewood than change at all. 
Stay cute.